What is up, everybody? It's your friend, the Falcon, back with another video. I thought I'd do a quick video on my Chilean rosehair tarantula. Um, I just wanted to show you how to take care of it. Are they dangerous? Do they bite? Answer some questions for you, such as that. Um, so they're not really dangerous. They will not like kill you or seriously injure you if you bite if they bite you. It's more like a bee sting or a wasp sting, more like. Um. Mine is very calm and docile. They're, like, they all have different personality, of course. However, the boys are, uh, more docile than the females. And the females live a, uh, much longer than the boys, though. So, I mean, something to consider when you're buying one. Boys tend to be more docile, but the girls live a bit longer. Um, they're very nice. They eat crickets. So, if you're sensitive to that kind of thing, uh, maybe don't get one. They don't move too much unless you poke them. See? Um... They don't move very much. Uh, they're very, they're very uh, good creatures. I like them. Um, they eat crickets again, so if you're sensitive to that, I might have a video where uh, she eats crickets. So I'll put a little warning in the description, um, and I'll make the title very clear on what this is going to be, what the video is going to be about, so no one gets like a surprise, and then they're traumatized. Because I don't know if any other people would have that, but I'm kind of a, I get kind of, I used to when I was littler, I used to get kind of sad about that kind of thing. Anyways, so, I figured I'd just show you her walking around and doing some stuff and answer some questions. Sheesh, I'm gonna drop the camera. Alright, anyways, so, yeah, so, um, Chilean rose-haired tarantulas. Very good creatures, in my opinion. Uh, they have, their hairs, actually, if you get them in your eyes uh, or on your skin, they can give you a really bad rash. And sometimes if you make them really nervous, they'll, uh, scrape the, they'll use their two back legs. Whoop, these two. And, uh, scrape, like, rub the back hairs uh, off their, um, a scientific name for that. I was gonna say thorax, but I don't think that's right. Ab no, not ab Yeah, thorax, um, onto your hand. And just always wash your hands after handling them, because they can give you a very severe rash. Um, also, if you touch your eye after, after getting one of those hairs on you, it'll really hurt. It'll feel like if you've gotten, like, soap in your eye, it will really hurt. And so, um, yeah, see, they aren't really active. If you maybe blow on them come on please move please move all right there see they're not, they're not active like at all um this is just kind of like having a pet rock that you have to feed sometimes but anyways so yeah um they don't need too big of a cage this is about the size this is next to my hand see this is about how big their cage has to be they do shed their skin and so if yours and they look dead when they do that so like it might not be dead you know, the, but if it's shedding its skin, definitely don't touch it because, uh, or right after it's shedding its skin, because if it sheds its skin and then you touch it, it's like brand new, like gross stuff on it and, and it'll hurt it. So also don't feed it when it is, is shedding its skin because the crickets will like, can kill it and eat it actually. So the hunter will become the hunty. They can't actually see what, really well. Oh, that's my, that's my parakeet chirping. You saw him in one of his videos. In one of my videos, you know what I mean? Here he is. Anyways, so, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. All I can think. But, yeah, the, um, they can't see very well. So, like, look, if you put your hand right in front of her, see, she can't see a thing. Well, they can see, but, like, not extremely well. They can feel vibrations in the ground. That's how they hunt, but she knows I'm not a threat. And, uh, did you know that, fun fact, they actually move their legs by pumping their heartbeat, like, their, uh, blood, I guess? There's a word for spider blood, but it's hemolyph. Yeah, hemolyph. They pump their hemolyph into their legs, which makes it move. So they don't actually have muscles like we do. Um, fun little fact, these are her spinnerets. Sometimes they move and stuff, sometimes. Sometimes they move, like, they, like, 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 pretend they're, like, they go, like... I don't know why they do that. Like, not, like, even when she's not spinning web, uh, I don't know why they do that. Also, these little white things on her, that's just water droplets. I got some water on her when I was giving water to her. But, um, anyways, so yeah, so this is a fun little video about my pet Chilean rose-haired tarantula. Um, they're pretty cute, in my opinion. I like them. I don't know. I don't know if you'd call it cute. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so if you like... Uh, my tarantula and you want to hear more about her and you want that feeding video let's let's uh leave a like please leave a like uh make sure to subscribe and 
hit that bell icon. Uh, let's see if we can get maybe 20 likes on this video. 20 likes. That's my... See, if we can do 20 likes on this video, I will do another video. Well, if we can get 15 likes on this video, I'll do another video. How about that? So, make sure to subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, and uh, I'll see you next time. Peace out.